don't need to take these medications because if I had a better relationship with God and Jesus, I wouldn't have anxiety and panic attacks. But I tell you what, sir, you can take that God and Jesus and grab it up your fucking ass. I don't give a shit about that fake ass religion. If that offensive, if that's offensive to you, I don't give a fuck. I'm tired of dealing with ignorant, dumb people who screaming and hollering to this man, mysterious figure in the sky. We ain't came down and gave you shit. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. You see my hands? See all them fingerprints on there? That identify if I would do the crime, they would be able to identify who I was based upon my fingerprints. We have individual fingerprints on all our hands. Why didn't God, see he gave us all individual fingerprints. He gave us intuition in our body. If you burn yourself, I hurt yourself like I burned myself right here in the I'm going to the teapot a few days ago. You know, I had black like that. Get the pillow off. But if you burn yourself, I said, yeah, I'm burning. Oh, it's hot. Teapot was damn hot. Your body knows that if you burn yourself, that, ooh, pull away and say, well, shoot, I got, got burned by it. That something's too hot. I need to move my hand and stuff away. Our body has all this, these magical features. We can see, we can talk. You know, to eat, you feel hunger in our stomach. I can hear you. There's so much stuff going on in our beautiful bodies. But he didn't download the Bible scriptures in time. We got 500,000 religions on planet Earth. Christian, Muslim, Jewish. I'm going along and on about all the different religions that we have. And everybody says their religion is the what? Y'all can take that religion shit and shove and stuff. You know, I, 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 I can't. I live in the real world. Jesus ain't about to show up here and do shit. Right, unless he come to clean these damn gutters, I ain't calling. Unless he come to clean these gutters, cut this grass and do some painting around this damn house. I do want to repaint in the kitchen and some other areas which were for the holidays. Why would I want to, um... <laughs> I ain't calling on Jesus for shit. I'm not that foolish. I'm not, I don't, I don't believe in all this prayer and God gonna fix this. God ain't fix the goddamn thing for nobody in forever. I was offensive to you. I bet it is, but it's the fucking truth. I look around my community and it's all these black folks got a church on every goddamn corner. Hell, I live behind the church. Pat Parker, I didn't look over there. I was, come on over to the service. Come on over. For what? This day we having this, this day we having that. I got other stuff I need to do, like go to the gym. Something that my body can benefit from is sitting up in one of them pews over at that damn church. Listen to some boring. Mm -mm. Y'all keep that religion mess. I really wish black folks in particular we get this shit up. It is the most destructive force in our entire community. We've allowed religion to come into our lives and create so much, so many problems, so many issues. I mean, somebody make a statement. What am I doing? Why do you have a Bible if you don't believe in that? That ain't my damn Bible. That Bible belongs to earlier. It was given to him by his grandmother decades ago. So he's holding on to it. He might throw, it the, throw that shit in the trash can. You don't read it any damn way. He wanted people, yeah, I believe in God and Jesus. I ain't never seen you though. Be a part time believer, I guess. I don't know. I listen to these people. I, you know, I come from a family full of religious people. Woo! And their lives are just. Walter, why do you live so good? Because I ain't over here praying for no motherfucking miracle. That's why. I'm not sitting over here laid up in bed waiting for Jesus and God to show up here and drop some money into my fucking bank account and pay for these cards to pay these fucking bills over here. I'm not laid up here waiting for God to do shit for me because I ain't got time for that fake mess. Get up off my ass and get out of here and go take care of what I need to do. There are no miracles. I keep thinking about that girl who wrote that comment. I had a miracle that happened to me years ago. I, she smoked some damn crack. And she said she liked that she made a real sick and she was just playing on, laying on the ground, knocked out, playing, God, please let me get over this. But when the crack wore off, 
And then for, when you first off, the, the likelihood that Uzi died from smoking crack was zero to none. That she was laced with some hard way ass drug or something. She's shooting up with the crack. Your first time doing crack, I don't think you're going to die from doing crack the very first time, man. That was not a miracle. All these people that, I could tell you about events in my life. No, you just living life. I cannot tell you all about any spectacular events that happened in my life that I can claim was a miracle. Nothing. Nothing. Because miracles don't exist. Do strange things happen? Possibly. But miracles, a miracle is, what would, what would I consider a miracle? Okay, uh, well, well, let's look up miracle. Let's see what that is. Let's, first, let's get the definition of what a miracle is so I can, so can kind of give you what I would think would be a, a, a miracle. A miracle whip. Why is it people taking me a miracle whip? I guess you need my phone or iPhone. Other than that. They said, let's go look at some damn miracle whip. All right, miracle. Definition. Where is it? Come on now. iPhone going slow. A surprising. Okay, so this is a, the definition from the new Oxford American Dictionary. A surprising and welcome event that is not explicable by natural or scientific laws. Scientific laws, and is therefore considered to be the work of a divine agency. Well, I can assure you all, I personally have not seen a surprising and welcome event that is not explicable by natural or scientific laws and is therefore considered to be the work of a divine agency. I doubt very seriously if any of you have ever been through that. A highly, imp it goes on to say a highly, imp it's a noun, miracles a noun, uh, it goes on to say a highly improbable or extraordinary event development or accomplishment that brings very welcome to certain consequences. It was a miracle that more people hadn't been killed or injured. An amazing product or achievement. Uh, you know, I, I, I've heard stories of people saying they had cancer and God miraculously healed them of the cancer. Well, no, God didn't miraculously heal you of the cancer. Some people do recover from cancer. You know, everybody don't die from that shit. Some people do live. I don't, I'm not about to stop taking my medications, which I'm about to go take in a few minutes anyway, and sit here and wait for some miracle to happen. And I was miraculously start feeling better because I had and it improved my relationship with God and Jesus. And that's going to make things better for me. There's something inherently wrong with people who are religious, they all, to me, it's a form of mental illness. I don't care if it's Christian, Jewish, Muslim, there's something wrong when these people are constantly chanting and praying to some individual, in, in, invisible individual that you cannot see, hear, or touch. But they're constantly praying to this person, but they look around at the other people around us, people that you can actually see and feel like me sitting here on this couch, and we treat, we treat each other like crap. And shit. We have a nation full of homeless people. When I drive through the streets of Atlanta, it's scary to me. All these guys are homeless, have no place to live. The large, huge population of homeless people here in Atlanta. Not just Atlanta, I went to D.C., Washington, D.C., New York, Los Angeles has them under the state, state of California, all this stuff. And ain't nobody doing nothing for them. We'll feed the homeless. No, they need a place to stay. Why ain't God worked a miracle out for them? Maybe anything. So if you're trying to say see, if they had a better relationship with God and Jesus, uh, they would be homeless. I don't know what to say about all this craziness. I, sometimes I'm just left. When I read that comment, I was actually left kind of speechless. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, here we go with this mess. I'm like, this man can't be for real, but he was serious. If I had a better relationship with God and Jesus, I would not need this medication for anxiety and panic attacks. Now, 
If that ain't the most bullshit comment of the year, I don't know what else it is. And it's astounding that somebody wouldn't think that way. Something that's broken. Mad medication has profoundly helped me tremendously over the past few weeks. Has changed the way I view a lot of stuff. Helped me to be more calmer and look at the world through different light than my own. Thank goodness for that medication because it's helped me to have a clear vision. And I see things a lot differently now. I'm getting older and mature and wiser. And I think that's a good thing. I'll be 48 in a few months. So I make it through this year. I'll be 48 years of age. Looking forward to that. If you think that there's going to be some miracle out there, you don't need your medication. I've had so many friends stop taking their HIV medications, blood pressure medicines, stop cancer treatment, all kinds of stuff and wait for a miracle to happen. And unfortunately, the miracle never happened and these people died. I've seen it often. My sister was one, she was on dialysis. She stopped going, she got, she was just, all of a sudden, she just got, she had gotten very extremely religious. I mean, she was, my sister would go to this church in somewhere in South Georgia, right here. They stayed in that church all day long. Some um, cult like thing. They'd be in this church all day and night long. It's all day, hours, hours, hours. Running around in church. I might never forget my, 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 when my relatives were with my sister's church. She couldn't believe her eyes. And I said, my sister was in there just, she picked up this mess from my mother. Religion is a form of belief in religion is a form of mental illness. You gotta skip me. <laughs> but my sister stopped going to she's on dialysis. And she stopped going. And she I guess she thought God was gonna take care of her dialysis situation. And unfortunately my sister passed away, she didn't live, she died. A few days later, it didn't take long to miss that dialysis. For you end up dead and gone. That's what happened. She stopped going to dialysis. We don't know why, other than the fact that she was she's been baby. So everybody said she was just she was praying and going to good. God is gonna take care of this. God told her she didn't need dialysis, and I said this girl was going through um severe mental illness. I said, why did somebody pick up the phone and say, well, to me, it's not going to Dallas. She said, God, I'm not. People, I'm like, well, what is it? You know, I hear all this after the fact. The girl should have been hospitalized immediately. She needed to go to dialysis. God and Jesus are not going to do her dialysis treatment for you. If anybody's sitting out there on dialysis, you think God will treat God. If you think not going to dialysis, and God and Jesus are going to resolve that issue, you're going to be in for one hell of a surprise. You're going to wake up and look at it. We're going to be waiting. Like, wake up next to Jesus. We I mean, know that ain't gonna happen since he don't exist. No, I'm gonna keep taking my medications. And I'm not trying to get a relationship with God or Jesus. I'm not wasting my time with that nonsense. But as I see, it ain't worked out for nobody. Either. So I'll, I'll, pass, I'll take a pass on that. Now, thank you for the suggestion, sir. And um, it's been duly noted. I, I, I couldn't find a little bit of comment. I must have deleted that shit. I know I thought I saved it, so it's there. You know, the comment is, is there. Someone's on this YouTube channel. So I'm going to use one of these videos. I feel sorry for us as a race of people because we're so caught up in religion. And it's just such a destructive force to our, to our, to our families, to the African American, to the Black American race. You know, you know, and I'm sure it's done the same amount of damage to whites and all those other races around here. Um, all I can say is that I'm fine and I'm happy with my life. I don't need a, I don't need a relationship with some invisible being that's going to swoop in here and take care of uh, work some type of a miraculous miracle. This is not gonna happen. If you like my videos, click like, share it with family members and friends. I'm out of here. It's been a long day. I had a friend come over to help him with something. Oh my god. Uh, she, 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 she's the problems. I 
I said, let me help this man out for a little bit. One day I needed some help. So I had to sit down we on the computer figuring out something. We seem to resolve these issues for now. Yeah, I think we did fix. We resolved it. It just took forever. I was just supposed to be my day off to relax and then drag us to nine nine nine. You know, I gotta finish cleaning and folding these damn clothes. A mountain of towel in the sky. I said, let me get in here and fold all this mess up and watch some TV and relax. I skipped the gym today. God, I go there all the damn time and have my day off and get killed, man. Anyway, I'm about to get out of here and go do something. I wanted to go to a movie today, but it's too cold. It's too late now. But I, that's what I was going to do is clean up the house. I was going to sneak off to a movie by myself before this individual came over here with his issues and problems. I mean, now I need to find out what movie's out there. We're seeing. Hey, you guys haven't seen movies lately. Let me know what to go see because I want to go pop in there. I got some free coupons for this movie. I need to use it soon before it um, expires. Anyway, today is Wednesday, November 15th. Yeah, let me know what new movies are out there. So any, any good movies you all see, let me know. Inbox it to me. I'll put it on the comment section that you've seen recently. Um, I need to get out of the house and do something fun. You know, just you know, something get out of my ordinary schedule. Day-to-day schedule. I'm kind of like, I need to begin doing different things. You know, when I, when I, instead of just always in the gym or at the bank and all, all this other stuff. Instead of just, I need to, sometimes I need a break from the reality of the world. Anyway, like I said, today is Wednesday, the 15th. Let's live and let's be honest. My father worked a dangerous job that took his life working at the U.S. Steel Mill in order for him to raise seven children and take care of them. Jesus had nothing to do with that. My mother loved Jesus and God and Christ. And gee, that mess pisses me off. I have repeatedly told my mother, do not text me that Jesus crap. So I told her I was positive. Um, for COVID, she sent me this Jesus, this guy, and I said, okay, <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't breathe, I got ass on the phone, <laughs> Miss Hampton, don't see me this mess. She's always trying to force her religious beliefs onto her children and everybody else she can get to, and that's not right. Everybody ain't into that. Take Jesus, God, and Jesus, and Bahubi, and Bible, and all. Everybody don't want to listen to this mess. If she enjoys it, then enjoy it. But see, that keeps her in a fantasy world. But she don't have to live in the real world. Because in the real world, I'm paying her rent, her insurance, her car payment, the car insurance, the utilities, all come out my bank account. That I got to put the money in there to pay for that. On top of paying for my own shit. I don't mind that she's my mother. But don't live in a fantasy world and say Jesus is taking care. Jesus ain't getting shit for you because I ain't seen where that motherfucker at. Jesus! Jesus! Where the fuck you at? Where is he? Where? I need to run up to the make, make a deposit. Where the fuck is that to ask for that? You won't find him. But you will find my black ass paying for her car note. Her insurance on that car. Maintenance and upkeep. Washing the vehicle. Her rent. Renter's insurance. And need other gas and everything else. Yeah, she get her social security check. Ain't much. She go throw it out. I don't know what she do with that money. We don't care. Then she done ran this credit card up. Jesus, 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 Jesus. There ain't nowhere to be found, Miss Hampton. My name is Walter. Not fucking Jesus Christ. Walter Lee Hampton the second. I have to keep reminding her of this. Jesus ain't done shit for your black ass. Ever. Ever, ever. So quit calling him out and saying he didn't do shit for you. He ain't did shit for nobody. Because he don't fucking exist. So I have to remind her of that. I have to keep reminding her of that. Don't bring me that Jesus shit. I don't want to fucking hear it. I'm just sick of it. And those of you who believe in that shit, you a goddamn fool for believing in that fake ass bullshit. You're a fool. You need to be slapped. My mama need a good slapping to bring her out that bullshit. I was sitting there reading the Bible, reading the Bible, reading the Bible. Don't even know what the fuck going on around her. And sometimes it's disheartening. It's scary. 
You should be reading this Bible. You don't even know there could be an earthquake going on. Well, I guess you know there's an earthquake was going on, a firestorm or something. It was that, well, that fire that burned up the people that built it. My mom, did you see that? I didn't see what happened. In New York, that fire, that horrible fire. Where was Jesus then? Okay. I ain't got time for that fake Jesus shit. I've never cared for it. And I noticed something, too, about all these people in this Jesus shit. They're the poorest people on planet Earth. All my family members and friends who love Jesus, they ain't got shit. Why is this? Now, Jesus shows up and providing y'all with some good shit, but Jesus ain't providing y'all with nothing. That's kind of scary. You paying to Jesus every night, but your shit is on the verge of utilities cut off, gas, no money in the bank, no nothing. But, of course, Jesus is a fantasy. He ain't real. And that God, none of this shit. Gee, there's no Jesus, no angels, no Bible, fake God, all that fake ass shit. It's all fake. And if you live in that fantasy world, you're going to need a lot of help. Mental health. I have a couple of friends who are always God and Jesus and posting God and Jesus. They flat ass broke. One of them lived in a boarding house. I'm like, we live in a rooming house. He called me yesterday with all these songs. I have to hang up the phone. I'll call you back. I don't want to hear this shit. You ain't woke up yet? You living in a rooming house. Make it, uh, it's just sad. In church every Sunday. Posting all this stuff on Facebook and Instagram. I'm like, this boy is sick, but he ain't the only one. He ain't the only one. Constantly, I despise religion. I don't care if it's Christian, Muslim, Jewish, whatever. They're all fake. You gotta live in the real world. Because Jesus or Muhammad or whoever ain't coming to rescue your black ass. Ain't nobody coming to rescue me. I knew if I had COVID, I was gonna have to lay up on this couch. So now we got that COVID test. I had to run back Kroger and give me some shit. And I'm gonna be in trouble over here. I'm gonna impact, got a whole bunch of shit. Just grab a buggy and grab shit. I said, I'm gonna be I'm stuck in that house. And what if I get worse? Because <laughs> who's gonna come over here? Ooh. Jesus, I, Jesus, where you at? Mm -mm, he ain't coming. That bastard ain't coming. Who's offensive to you? You offended. You offended because you believe in some fake ass bullshit like my mama believed in, but my grandmother believed in, and her grandmother believed in, and her grandmother believed in, and we can go back decades. If y'all only knew how my family had lived. <laughs> Ooh. Jesus ain't gonna save you. So waiting on that motherfucker is waiting on a fantasy. Waiting on a fairy tale. Meanwhile, the white folks didn't took over every damn thing. They destroyed everything. You know, I was thinking last night when I was in the old fourth ward. The old fourth ward is an area off Boulevard in downtown Atlanta. Horrible. It was it was horrible. Bought a house there in 1996. Built a brand new home. Paid four hundred some thousand dollars for the house. It was the most expensive house in the area at that time. Gunfire, shooting, robberies, rapes, killings, murder, prostitution, drug dealer. It was horrible. Then the white folks found it. And they got it for cheap. Real cheap. And they moved in there and the neighborhood changed drastically. It's a whole nother world over there. Million dollar townhouse over there. That house that I paid four hundred some thousand dollars back in ninety six, probably worth about a good one point seven, one point eight, maybe two million dollars now, give or take. <laughs> Should have kept that damn house if I'd known they was gonna come over there. See, while we're praying to God and Jesus waiting for a miracle, they out there taking care of business. They ain't thinking about our else. They swept through there in the middle of the night and whole 4 4 changed. It's still kind of rough in some spots over there, but nowhere near as bad as it was. Nowhere near as bad. It just makes you wonder. You see, while we waiting up around, running around praying to Jesus and going for those white folks, they 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 doing what they, be, they, they doing what they always been doing. <laughs> uh, uh, same old, same old. 
My mother doesn't see how she harmed her children because of her religious beliefs. She don't see it. And she doesn't see how her mother's religious beliefs harmed her. And generation after generation, this fake Jesus crap. When you look at black neighborhoods, particularly here in Atlanta, we have some decent black neighborhoods, some. We have a few. But the vast majority of these neighborhoods living in poverty. It's horrible. It's bad. It's really bad. And it was even worse. It was it was terrible here. But we waiting on Jesus. And God and angels and all that other bullshit. Y'all can miss me with that bullshit because I don't want to hear it. So don't be saying, I'm praying for you, Walter. <laughs> you don't need to pray for me. Uh, excuse me, send me some cash. You better off send me a bottle of vodka. I like absolute vodka. It ain't that damn expensive. I don't have to have a great goose. You send me a bottle of absolute vodka. Don't waste your prayers. Not on me. And I don't need it. Because it ain't doing no good for none of us. Yeah, but that's what we got into it about her texting me all this bullshit all the time. I said, stop it. Stop blocking you. And y'all might say, well, well that's just, <laughs> I don't want to see that shit. Sometimes you get tired of that fake ass mess. Good, you get tired of it. Now, my mother wanted to do some good. She could have well, come in because you know, I had COVID. So it would have been nice if she came in and cleaned up around here, but she couldn't do that either damn way. She could have ran by the liquor store and said, well, you need some of that absolute vodka over there? Bring me two bottles of that big bottle of that vodka model. Use that credit card I'm paying for and swipe it for me some vodka. And bring it over here and set it at my back porch. Thank you. That would have been much better than her sending me these worthless ass <laughs> text messages all day about God, Jesus, and angels and all this other bullshit. I don't hear that shit. I don't want to read it. Anyway. Ah, see, I'm back to normal. I'm breathing. I had a good rant for you. Yeah, I'm back. No, I'm back. And then uh, Jesus ain't had nothing to do with getting back. Thank you. Goodness for that good medicine our doctor gave me that I paid three hundred and seventy fucking dollars for three seventy for that nail spray. Yeah, three hundred and seventy dollars. Oh Lord! And I almost didn't buy it. And now I was walking away from that pharmacy. I noticed I couldn't get away from the pharmacy. <laughs> I said, well, let me go. I turned. I said, hey, ring that mess up. Said, you sure you want it? I said, you ring that nasal spray huh. and I whipped out that American Express card that's my Jesus <laughs> don't leave home without it <laughs> stuck it in the hood and went right on <laughs> okay good uh, I ripped open that box right there in that store and sat there and sprayed up my nose and sat there for a few minutes and my folks look at me I don't know that nigga I look like a crack at it honey. I was sitting over there <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Um, I, sat, I literally sat there in that chair by that pharmacy I couldn't breathe if I had passed on them for my wife, I was probably would have stepped over my head. Oh, drunk nigga, drug addict, crackhead. Mm -hmm. But my mother loved them white folks. <laughs> they ain't never done wrong about with me. Mama, shut up. Don't want to hear shit about these white folks that you didn't fell in love with. But 20 years ago, you couldn't stand any asses. Now you love them. <sighs> anyway, today is Tuesday, January 11th, year 2022. Hope I had the year right before the beginning of this building. You know, I'm over here now. I'm sitting here having my second cup of coffee. My mother just took off. My mother just took off about an hour ago. My mother gets dressed, please. And she's out of here by 8. She's up at 7. A dress. I have one hand. Books. She has a little cart. She put all packs, all her stuff up. Lunch, food. Now she's going to the office someplace. She's making sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where are you going? My mother get up like she on her way to a 925 in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. And I'm thinking, what office is open around here? Man, I don't say nothing because we keep on. So I don't say nothing, y'all. It's, but it's, it's ridiculous. She get up, she got a little food pack. Um, you know, drinks like you packing. Where you going? I said, you can come home for lunch. You need your food. You get... uh -uh, I'm too busy. Drive that little Honda be all over the damn place, smoking. Them wheels be just a, a burning rubber. 
you're going, what you're doing. I don't get it. So we got into it last night because I said, enough. You need to take a chill pill and enjoy life. Go get your hair done, get your nails done. Well, she did, she did. She said yesterday she went to the nail salon, she got her nails done. She was there doing that. Enjoy life. To hell with these smelly homeless people. That's my calling. My God put me here to. That's my calling. You don't understand. I said, I do understand. I mean, but you don't have to worry. You run yourself into the ground because of these homeless people out here who will be out there. <laughs> You be long gone and gone, and then niggas still be still out there in the street corners. Why do you feel that you have to, to pray to them, read the Bible to them, and say their lives? What is going on here? When is it the end? When do you let the next generation pick that thing up and, and they finish it? You've been doing this for years. It's time to have a seat and go to a beach. Relax. Let's go get some rest. Well, I mean, not supposed to be restaurants. Let's go. I mean, it's like you can go to restaurants. We can relax. You can go see a movie. I mean, you don't really know the movies. I think it's movie days. But there's a lot of shit you can do besides deal with a bunch of homeless people all day. And our storage being full of crap. Well, how am I supposed to get some of the stuff to the storage man to the people over there? I'm like, why? Why? Sit down and give it a break. I just don't get it. But anyway. Other than that, I said I'm not gonna argue with her no more. This last night it was really contentious. We sat here arguing I'm back and forth, back and forth about her out here. I mean, <laughs> she up, dress gone, Pew! all day. I mean, it's just weird to me. And this has been going on for years because she was living with my sister. And my sister would tell me this because I wasn't really there. I just assumed that some days my mother would get up early and go places, and some days she'd sleep in and stuff. It doesn't matter if if, if it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, she up and gone. When do you relax? Lay in, cup of coffee, drink, relax. I ain't got me. We, me and my mother are two different people. Let me tell you, I'm about to lay in this house and watch the TV, make a YouTube video, watch a little TV over here, turn on the CNN and whatever else, clean up right here, do my laundry, or scrub before I go out today. And I, y'all, y'all know I love working out, right? Y'all know I love my working out. I'm a beast in that motherfucking gym. I, ooh, I love that gym. I ain't been there because that coronavirus. That's all I'm scared. I'm from the coronavirus. Who is it? I'm not going in there. You come to the gym, I'll tell you. No, I'm not going to the gym. I'm not going to the gym. I'm not going to the gym. We're like, coronavirus. I'm scared of the coronavirus. No, 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 no. No, I can't go in there. I'm scared of the scheme. I'm scared of the coronavirus. Who's giving me no? Oh, I'm not going in there. Who cares? I can't go. So I ain't stepped foot in nobody's motherfucking gym. Well, I would like to go. Damn, coronavirus bites you in your fucking ass. You're going to regret that. Last year was the worst Christmas of my entire life. Even when I was in that hospital, no. And I got to deal with my mother with her crazy ass. And she ripping around the street, bringing the coronavirus into this damn house. Hmm. Uh, what can I do? I ain't to keep arguing with ass. Anyway, I. I got some. I, I just trying to. I'm trying to get this place to feel like a home. Antonio, call me if you want to paint this. I, I saw your offer for thousand dollars to paint my house over here. <laughs> I'm gonna take you up on that offer. Um, I'm gonna call you. I've been so busy dealing with these other issues over here. They had to come here and do some work inside this place, and so they're finishing up the work. They, you know, they, they, they finishing up the work. But um, I don't know. It's been, the weather's been cold outside, so I got some good sleep last night. I just got to, I just want to get this place, you know, somewhat normal. These walls painted in here. I do not like white walls like this. Some people come in, it's fine, I can't stand it. I can't put the paint on these damn walls. I got to walk through this damn, hang these damn TVs up, put some curtains up in this damn house, make it a home. Unlike my mother, I like being at home. There are days when I was hanging around the house all day and not even leaving, walk around, even so I with a couple, 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 couple of pops of coffee. Mm. And you know, with a couple of pictures of uh, 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 of, of um, crap, vodka and crap, and make my little picture and stir it up with lime and everything, and then sip on that all day watching TV. I like being in the house. I mean, I don't have to rip and run the streets of America for what? So you never some car wreck. Uh, car jack, uh, you know, uh, uh, I just, you know, if I enjoy being at home. I enjoy my own company. I don't have to be sitting around praying to somebody tell us, you know, get in the heaven. Well, you got the, you, you have Jesus' phone number, Mr. Oh, we've been in that, 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 that
Oh, it was, I should, I should have pulled out the camera to record that conversation. We went out of back and forth because she just determined. Mm -mm -mm. I ain't never met somebody so determined to get the word of Jesus out. Are they paying for these? I'm sure wish you can make some money getting the word of Jesus out there. I need to call up the Jesus Hunger Resource and say, oh, y'all need to pay my mama her money. She's been doing this shit for years. I paid her shit. Where's her retirement? Where's her pension? Where's her 401k? Where's the nigga? Give it to her, Jesus, because she deserves it. You motherfucker. You better have that money for my mama. She means I'm going to come up there and whoop your ass, Jesus. Now, you got 15 minutes to get this shit together. I need to get his ass on the damn phone. She, she done slaved for that nigga. And ain't got shit. But anyway, nothing has happened because she's going to be ripping and running forever. Today she died. They're going to have her in a casket over onto the steering wheel. Look, Mama, you can drop the steering wheel down. <laughs> Miss Abner, let's go get the steering wheel out of here. We couldn't put it out. It's got the death grip on it. I said, oh, my goodness. I'm going to put it in the ground with that steering wheel. I'm the steering wheel. Oh, well, hold on. Well, I hope that's not the case, but who knows. Anyway, it's been, um, it's been interesting. It's been very interesting over here. This is gonna be a short video because I can't get this Yeah. It's been quiet over here, you know. And oh, the eviction thing. There's a lot of evictions taking place here in Atlanta. And a lot of people are losing their homes. And the CDC's moratorium on eviction ends this month. And I, I, I y'all, I really don't know what to say because I was sitting here talking to a friend last night and we were discussing that about the feds, these whole stimulus packages and all that stuff. I just don't think they're going to put anything out there. I just don't, I, I don't think anything's going to happen until after these two Senate races in Georgia and Biden takes office in January. Other than that, forget it. Nothing's going to happen. You know, I don't even, you know, and then the Texas found this lawsuit against Georgia and 17 states joined us. Like, what is this shit? What's going on here? So, I don't think we're going to see any movement or help or written. I don't think nothing's coming. Y'all beginning to think nothing is coming. I don't think they're going to put any type of rental assistance. These people about to lose their home. I don't think they're about to do shit. I don't think it's going to happen. And if Biden, don't, if those two Senate races, Repu the Republicans win these two Senate races in Georgia, it's a, it's a wrap. There's going to be no help for, you, for people with dinner and 10 business. It's, it's a wrap. Ain't nothing coming. So, I don't know. I mean, a lot of folks in this place where I live at, there's a lot of empty units. In there. I, I looked at another apartment complex, a high rise. And a, I have a friend who told me, oh, come look at these units. And I went over there and looked. I can't think of any of that place. But I was walking through the hallway and looking at the building. They had eviction notices taped to people's doors that had been there for weeks, possibly months now. Apartments, because of the eviction moratorium, it was taped to the door. Notices tucked in up. The apartments were empty. People were gone. There was apartment after apartment after apartment empty. Because all this shit taped to the door. I'm like, all these empty units are empty. Said, all the empty new people in the hall of ass. But the apartment complex still couldn't take um, the apartment back. And, and release it, you know, I don't know who that fuck they're going to lease it to, but, um, y'all, this is a bad situation here, people, y'all, I know y'all drinking them vodkas and cranberries and all that club, shaking your booty bag, and I got my paycheck on Friday, everything's hunky door. I'm going to Tulane, Mexico, I'm going to have me a good old time, while, while the rest of the world's crashing and burning around, you might want to pay attention to the fuck that's going on around you, you know, some of y'all out here just enjoy, just say, hey, everything's going to hunky door, and, you know, but everything's going to blaze and burn in hell all around you. And the second will be dead bodies all over the street from coronavirus. But people are not paying attention. I'm just sitting back, what is going on here? But over here, there's a lot of vacancies. A lot. Park lines empty. Come out there and go out there and go bowling. I don't know how people here. I said, Mama, I don't know. This unit is empty. It's, they're all empty. I'm like, there's a lot of them empty. And I'm just like, and then people keep leaving. This is the funny part. Since I've been here, I've seen people exodus of people going out. Everybody coming in. I'm like, well, where are the people coming in at? I ain't seen nobody moving in yet. Other than my black ass moving from apartment to apartment. <laughs> Look at my shit. Okay. But they got some gorgeous apartments in here, too. Beautiful apartments. 
But um, mm-hmm. it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out. As the um, I don't I I I don't really don't think we're gonna get no relief. Anybody's gonna get no relief. And it started to concern me because, well, you know, I have family members and friends, and everybody's starting to really hurt me. And I'm, I'm listening, and I'm, oh, my goodness, this is about to be, this is bad. A lot of folks have been there. A lot of people, I don't know much about unemployment, so I assumed, I don't know why I thought this, but uh, everybody's unemployment benefits are running out. So when that's over with, I thought, oh, they get an extension. And there ain't no extension. I said, yeah, I don't get no extension. <laughs> no, it's the end of the road, honey. Like boys and men in the real, I didn't know. I, you know, I, how would I know this? I didn't even have unemployment before. So, a lot of these people are running out of their unemployment benefits, and they're, they're, of course, the U.S. government and Pelosi and all of them are making discussing this and that. Now, but hey, shit gonna get done with this Republicans, Trump nonsense taking place. That ain't nothing's gonna happen to after that election. And after Biden gets his ass in office, <clears throat> and by the time Biden gets his ass in office,